Servus, you see the Oktoberfest behind me? It starts in three months in Munich. It lasts from the 21st September to the 6th of October. And here are 10 useful tips for you before you come here. The Oktoberfest is unfortunately extremely expensive. So the first tips will be budgetary tips. Tip 1. Search for a hotel room outside of Munich. Rooms in Munich become three or four times as expensive. You could easily pay 300 to 400 euros for one night. But there's no need to get a room in the city center. Search for hotels in the whole MVV area, that's the public transport, in smaller suburban towns outside of the Munich, outside of Munich. The rooms might be cheaper. You can even take a room in Augsburg. It's a beautiful city and the regional train only takes you 45 minutes to Munich. The last regional train is at 11 p.m. back to Augsburg when the tents close anyway. And after that, there are the express trains, so there's no need to have a hotel room in Munich. That will save you a lot of money. Tip number two, eating outside the Oktoberfest. One mass of beer, so that's one liter, costs this year around 30, 50 and 40, 50 euro. But food is expensive as well. So my tip for you is that you eat your main meal outside the Oktoberfest. At a traditional Wirtshaus, for example, so that's a restaurant, for example, yeah? So that way you will save some bucks. And if you're hungry at the Oktoberfest, just buy a brezel, just buy a roll with a sausage. That will do fine. But your main meal have outside the Oktoberfest. That's a tip. So the next tip is a, is a hot topic. So tip number three. Don't feel obliged to wear lederhosen and dirndl if you don't want to. The thing that you start like traditional garments and traditional costumes, um, it started in, in the late 1990s that everybody thought he has to wear lederhosen. But it was never a thing before that. Uh, to make it clear, there is no and there never was a regional costume for Munich. A Stoderer der Dortkotrocht. A city dweller does not wear traditional costume. It don't even... I don't even own a pair of lederhosen. But by all means, if you think that's part of the fun, buy some lederhosen and dirndl. But please, don't wear those stupid lederhosen t-shirts. That's borderline disrespectful. But what I personally would prefer before you buy lederhosen, maybe you... Maybe your region has a regional costume. I always love when the Scotch wear their kilt. That's awesome. Uh, so, for example, if you're from Texas or Wyoming, why don't you wear a cowboy hat and boots? I think that's how you get invited to a beer or two. So, please don't feel obliged to wear lederhosen. I go very civil there in jeans and t-shirt and that's it. I forgot a little thing about the traditional costume. If you wear the lederhosen and after the Oktoberfest you want to go to a club or so, there are some clubs that won't let you in with Oktoberfest. It's not that you're welcome everywhere with lederhosen and dirndl. There are some doors that are a little bit more strict and they don't want to have like totally drunken and um, tourists there. So that might be also a thing that you might consider. Tip number four, don't use a taxi if you're completely wasted. If you puke into the taxi, it will get very expensive. You don't only have to pay the cleanup, you also have to pay the time the taxi is out of service. So that gets really, really expensive really, really fast. So take a walk, some fresh air, that will help you. Don't take a taxi. Tip number five, don't use the rickshaws. The rickshaws are quite expensive so if you want to take it for fun for a for ride take it but as a usual form of transportation don't use it don't use it it's it's not worth the money tip number six bring enough cash so Oktoberfest most attraction you have to pay cash the beer you have to pay cash without cash you won't come far at the Oktoberfest change your cash in advance and take a lot of cash if you want to stay longer. Tip number seven, leave large bags and all valuable items other than money in your hotel room. You're not allowed to bring large bags into the Oktoberfest, um, only small bags. So don't bring things you don't need. Just bring your money, maybe it's your phone for some photos, that's it. Tip number eight. Avoid, if possible, the weekends. They tend to be overcrowded. However, there are some special events during the Oktoberfest you might not want to miss. So on the first Saturday, there's the festive entry of the Oktoberfest breweries. And at 12 o'clock then, the mayor taps the first glass of uh, beer 
uh, in the Schottenhammel tent. But it's very hard to get in, so if you really, really, really want to see that, you have to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning or even earlier and stand in front of the Oktoberfest to get a get a place in the in the tent so otherwise it won't be possible then sunday there's the parade of the marksman and the tra in traditional costumes to the theresian visa so that's maybe something you want to see then the middle weekend is a weekend i would avoid it's called the italian weekend because a lot of our italian friends come from italy to to the oktoberfest and it's well there are a lot of uh, why why they are there and in the middle weekend i have no idea but this weekend I would avoid totally. And then um, on the last Sunday, there are the, it's the firecracker shooting in front of the Bavaria statute um, in, uh, on the Oktoberfest. So that's maybe some things you would see, but in total I would avoid the week weekends. And um, normally like the last two or three days of the Oktoberfest are often more relaxed because here in Munich, you know, it's like you when you have a party at home, um, at some point you get tired. It, I mean, you enjoy to have your friends around, but it's nice that they go at a certain point, and that's more, the two, three last days is mostly those days where the people here in Munich are, are tired of the Oktoberfest, so that's a good tip. Tip number nine, be early to get a table in the tent. But it depends a little who you are. If you are a couple or a group of up to four, it is usually possible to find a place inside the tent during the week. And it's nearly always possible to find a place outside the tent in the beer garden. But it's during the week and the weekend is a different beast. If you are a larger group than four, you'll have to be early to get a table for yourselves. And early that's 10 a.m. during the week and 5, 6 a.m. on the weekend or even earlier. Reservations of tables are possible, but I would only do it if you're in a group of eight or more. But you'll have to be early for the reservation and early means that you're already late for this year 2024 um, so for next year the reservation for 10 starts in spring and you have to buy food vow um, food vouchers with a reservation i'm not really sure if that's worth the hassle as a tourist number 10 last tip respect the beer listen oktoberfest beer is strong around seven percent alcohol but it doesn't taste like that it's zufik so it's drinkable Take your time, drink a water from time to time in between. You will get drunk. You will be. You will be. And there's no honor to be one of the fools laying in the Kotzügel, the hill behind the Oktoberfest, where all drunken people lie. I hope this was useful to you. Uh, if you have more questions around the Oktoberfest or Munich in general, just ask me in the comments, I will answer, and if you're interested in a guided tour, write me if you find my email address here, and um, see you in the next video.